welcome back to my channel dnr today i am making these jasmineite coasters and i was inspired by silk screen and wanted to try this technique on jasmineite and on i will try on resin as well in future videos so let's start with what i'm doing here is i have bought these neon mica pigments from ebay and i have done a previous video video on this as well how to make them vibrant in jasmineite i will link that in description so what i'm doing here is i am making simple plain neon coasters in different colors and these mica pigments come in sets and you can use whatever color you like so i am using here orange purple pink and green so at this moment i am just simply making four plain coasters So all of these four are done and this was some leftovers I just poured into the leaf mold and let's start. So this was very interesting silk screen I bought it's in the design of houses and I really loved these and they were so fun and really loved, loved the design. So this was my first time trying this silver screen and I have seen numerous TikTok videos where they were using them on polymer clay and they were so fun to look at. So I thought why not try on jasmineite and in future I will use them on resin as well. So fingers crossed and this was first time and I have thought why not share with everyone and let's see. So I know you need a any scrapper or a nice card just do with the one flow but i couldn't find it at the moment so i just used a popsicle stick and this is the result and i really loved it so i'm doing on the rest of these so one thing i would like to clear here is i know it's a bit of a job but you need to clean the screen every time i didn't do that but you have to do that and just keep a bowl of water nearby and just dip it into the water and clean the screen the paint will come it off so i'm using acrylic paint here but really you get a something very unique and different this is really all about creativity you need to work a bit harder to make something unique so if uh, washing them in between looks difficult you need to make it because you are making something unique here so this is something that i thought i'll just leave it inside the video so you can see that i was using the screen again and again and what happened you will see here so this was the mistake You can see as the screen was full of the color. So this you can see that the it was the color didn't pass and I got a very blotchy. So for this I need to I had made another pink coaster I behind the screen and made another one. So now you can see I have cleaned the screen and we are going to try again. And there you go we have a clean design again so this is the new coaster i made and now i'm using i did clean again the screen and i'm using it onto the new one
and then i found this tool and it was super helpful i hope i would find it before but no problem i did find it so this was really easy and there you go again a very nice design so all of them four are done and what i'm doing here is i am adding some little accents of gold into the house roofs just to give it some effect So when my gold accents were dry, it was next day, I am using stone and concrete bags and I am simply using them on the coaster with the hands and after that with a soft cloth, I will buff it up. So these are all done and I really love how they are so creative and happy and fun looking vibrant coasters and I hope you will try them. So it was just a new technique and if you did please do let me know in comments and also please do like, like subscribe and share and take care. Bye bye.